We've probably built hundreds of pieces of furniture revolving around our love for coffee. Yes, and this one that we're building today is extra special because we're building it for our friend Amanda. We're renovating her jewelry showroom and we wanted to give her a special spot where she could sit down with friends and drink coffee while looking at all of her cute jewelry. Mostly we're just gonna be there looking at her cute jewelry and drinking, drinking all the coffee. coffee. So it's kind of selfish. So today we're gonna be building a 10 door coffee cabinet and you do not wanna miss it. So grab your tools and a cup of coffee and let's get busy. Here's all you need to build this coffee cabinet. Three quarter inch hardwood plywood, a project panel, one quarter inch hardwood plywood, some one by threes and one by fours, faux tin panels, and don't forget our plans. You can download them on our website. Just click the link in the description box. The first step to assemble this coffee cabinet is to build our frame. We have already added three quarter inch pocket holes to both sides and to our bottom. And now we're going to attach it. I'm gonna mark three and a half inches up because that's where we're going to line up this board. There we go. And we're gonna use a line of wood glue. You're so good at gluing. Well, I've done it a few times. Is this, is this not your first rodeo? It's not my first rodeo. <laughs> So for this step, all we need is our drill and our pocket hole screws. These are one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws that we are putting into three quarter inch pocket hole. So once we have that side, we're now going to lay this guy down and our pocket holes, remember, are gonna face up because that's what we're gonna use in a later step to attach our top on. So this lines up at three and a half inches. So we have part of our coffee cabinet built. So we'll push this guy off to the side and I'll get our one by four boards. Maybe, where were they? Uh, sorry, these are all the same. I need to see what little they are, my bad. She's just making a mess. 34 and a half. Like always, a mess. Now that the frame of the coffee cabinet's done, it's time to build the face frame to go on the front of it. The bottom of the face frame is one by four. Our sides and tops are one by three. We're attaching everything using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. Don't forget, download the plans. It has all these measurements for you. We've already made our cuts for our face frame and that bottom one by four board, we're gonna mark three quarters of an inch on each side because that's where we're gonna start lining our boards up. So this is our bottom board. Now we're going to attach two one by threes running up. We want all of our pocket holes facing us because we'll attach that to the cabinet and you won't ever see them. So one thing that's really awesome about this piece is that it's really big and it takes up a lot of space but you really only use four tools. You're gonna use a Craig jig, a drill, a miter saw, and a nailer. And those are like top, our top four tools that you use for most of our builds anyway. Mm -hmm. So you should probably already have them. All right, face frame done. Now to attach this, we're gonna use wood glue and brad nails. Actually, let's lay it down and get the rest of the side. And okay. we'll also go ahead and get the bottom. Face frame's attached. Now we're gonna add our two smaller side trim pieces. Those are also one by four. Just use a line of wood glue and attach with your nailer. Okay, and see these pocket holes right here? This is why we put the pocket holes facing down. You'll never see them. All right. We are attaching this board with those same brad nails. And do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to be adding the divider that's gonna run in the middle. This board is ripped, not quite as wide, because we want it to be able to fit inside of this. And we're actually gonna be, before we attach it, adding a piece of one by three trim to the front of it using glue and nails. So Ash is gonna add the glue for us. Now all the way down center, we're adding one and a quarter inch brad nails. Okay, done. We're gonna do a line of wood glue up the center and then just a little bit right there where our one by three front trim piece is. And we are going to attach this board with one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. So I'm gonna line this up. Once you have that part attached, you can then go nail the top of that to your front face frame. Make sure you use wood glue on that spot too. I always forget to say that. So I'm just marking center of the front trim board and center of our front face frame. We're gonna add just a little bit of wood glue to the inside of that. 
just a little bit. There we go. And we're going to attach that. Done. All right. Next step is going to be to add our shelves. So we're going to do two shelves in this cabinet. Guys, y'all can put your shelves wherever you want to. I'm putting mine probably close to center. We're going to put Amanda's coffee maker inside of this, so we just want to be sure to give her enough room to fit that. We're going to do ours 18 inches from the inside of this. Let's go ahead and lay it down. This is going to be an easier way to attach these. We'll pull it towards us just a bit. Lay it on its face frame. You smell so good, Ashley. I thought you smelled good. No. Do I really? What do I smell like? No, I put that pineapple stuff on oh my, my hand. Gosh, it smells it's you! Is I it? keep smelling it. I I'm like, it. man, it smells good. I brought good. yours. Okay, so good. Okay. Now I'm just smelling my hand. <laughs> well, I knew it wasn't me, because I was like, <laughs> there ain't nothing going on right now that I like, but okay. All right, awesome. Okay, first shelf's attached. We're going to attach the second one the exact same way. Now we're going to do is turn this up on its top, and we're going to attach the top. Okay. I need a coffee break. We've got one Literally. <laughs> so for the top, we're going to be using a project panel. And we've used these on several projects we've done lately. And some people have asked me, where do I buy a project panel? They're going to be at the hardware store. Both big hardware stores carry them. And they're typically on the same aisle as like your pine boards. To attach the top, we're setting the entire cabinet upside down and on top of the bottom of that project panel. We're attaching using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws through those pocket holes on the cabinet and into that project panel. Final step is attaching the one quarter inch plywood on the back of the cabinet. We use two pieces because we had scraps. You can also use a solid piece. We like to attach that using our stapler. You can also use a nailer on this part. All right, we've finished stapling. Cabinet's done, now it's time for the character of the piece, the doors. The real doors. So we're making these doors with one by three boards. Those are attached using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws through the shorter boards and into the longer boards. This does not just have to be used for coffee. If you're not a coffee lover, you can stash other stuff inside of there. Like candy bars. Yes. Candy bars, goldfish, <laughs> wheat thin, cereal. A little wine, you can make it a <laughs> wine cabinet. That's true. Door frames built. Check them for size. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and move on to those panels. These are faux tin panels. These panels come black when you order them. We added a white spray paint to them, and then we're going to distress it later on after we finish. Make sure you stain or paint those door panels before actually attaching those faux tin panels to it, because you don't want to get stain all over your pretty faux tin. Faux show. Faux show. Faux show. Here is our quarter inch panels that these stick to. You can just use any hot glue gun that you have and add a big glob of it. I love these panels. One of my favorite things about them is the look. They give you that vintage tin look, but they're super easy to cut. You can cut these with just basic scissors and they won't um, cut your hands because I've worked with real tin before and it can be a booger. So we have our panels attached. We're gonna sand ours just a little bit, give it a good distressed look. See, look how cute it's gonna fit in there. So the back, this is where you'll go and attach this door panel with nails and then add your cute hardware. We're using some really pretty black metal hardware for ours. We love the contrast of the whites with the blacks and everything else we have planned for this shop kind of revolves around that. We've built a ton of other pieces for Amanda's shop renovation, so make sure that you subscribe to our video so that you don't miss any pieces. Guys, we've built a lot of coffee stations over the past few years, and I think this one is one of my favorites. It is. I love all the details on it. It's so warm and inviting, and I think that Amanda's going to love it in her shop. It's going to look so good. It also looked great in your home, too. That's right. Go build one. All right, the first step to building this coffee cabinet is to... All right, the first step to, uh, <laughs> this is ridiculous. So to build these doors, we have already cut these to, ah, we're gonna juggle. <laughs> How's that for clutch? <laughs> it was the coffee. <laughs> when, 
<laughs> Wait for it. <laughs>